projector. Here. We used the slide projector. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. A sound, like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit reverberating in the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. This is Lightscape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. There was a doorway here, to where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side?
projector's not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. Slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests show nothing amiss. Expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there. As if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. slide and in the distance there's a formation of five pillars like crude outstretched fingers there were casualties on our first expedition communication is an issue there is no sound there as if you've gone deaf and radios don't work correction a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency it acts in unpredictable ways causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Thank you. 
Expedition 3. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We 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 built Was a that you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> 